Greg Laurie with some thoughts about the attack of Iran on Israel on April 13th, 2024. It was unprecedented. Now we know that Iran has sponsored terrorism for a long time, working with proxy groups like the Houthis, Hezbollah, and of course Hamas on that horrific attack on the Jewish homeland on October 7th, where 12 Hundred people were butchered, murdered, unbelievable, and still so many being held as hostages. But when Iran directly attacked Israel, that is literally without precedent, and it has prophetic significance. Now, we had this eclipse recently, and some people thought that that was a sign of the times, even a warning of an impending judgment on America. And as you recall, I said I did not agree with that position. Now, it is true that the Bible says in the last days that the sun will not give its light and the power of the heavens will be shaken, but that is speaking specifically of the tribulation period. Let me give you just a quick flyover of end times events chronologically. Number one, I think the next event on the prophetic calendar is the rapture of the church. Then the Antichrist emerges on the scene and the tribulation period begins. The tribulation ends with the second coming of Christ, and then the Lord establishes the millennium, the 1,000-year reign of Christ. So in the tribulation period, that is when the sun will not give its light and the moon will be darkened that the Bible predicts. That has not yet happened. So the eclipse was not a sign of the times. It was just an amazing eclipse. And by the way, they happen every 18 months or so. So setting that aside, I do believe the attack of Iran on Israel was a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. A sign of the end times, according to scripture, is the Jewish people will be regathered together in their homeland. That has happened. On May 14th, 1948, Israel officially became a nation, and you might say the prophetic time clock began to click. That was not just a sign, that was a super sign, but the Bible had more to say. Not only will the Jews be regathered together in their homeland, but they will be increasingly isolated. That's happening. The Bible also predicted the rise of anti-Semitism in the end times. That is happening. The Bible also predicts a large nation to the north of Israel identified in Ezekiel as Magog will attack her. That has not yet happened. Many scholars believe that Magog is a reference to modern day Russia. I concur with that view, but no one can say with absolute certainty. But this we can say with certainty. One of the allies of Russia will be Persia. Persia was the name of Iran. They changed their name in 1930. Therefore, Persia or Iran attacking Israel is predicted in the Bible. And guess what? That just happened. Now, am I suggesting that what just took place is going to lead to the scenario of Ezekiel 38? I don't think that's necessarily the case, but it certainly is a cause for us to sit up and pay attention. You know, Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up, for your redemption is drawing near. I'm so thankful to say that though 300 Iranian drones, missiles, and rockets were sent toward Israel, 99% of them were taken down by the Iron Dome, David's sling, and other technology that America has provided for the nation Israel. It is in the best interest of the United States of America to stand with our loyal ally, the nation Israel. God made a promise to Abraham years ago. He said, I'll bless those that bless you. I'll curse those that curse you. One of the reasons God has blessed the United States is because we have stood by our friend Israel. And I hope we continue to do so. What happens next? I don't know. Will Israel retaliate? Again, I don't know. But Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up for your redemption is drawing near. He did not say, when you see these things begin to happen, freak out because we're all dead. No, look up. Here's something else Jesus said. In my father's house are many mansions and what were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. But then he says, so let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Jesus is coming again. God is in control. But let's pray for our friends in Israel. Let's pray for the Jewish people. If you're watching this right now and you're Jewish, I want you to know that your evangelical friends stand with you now in your hour of need. Let's continue to pray for this nation of Israel, that God would protect them, that God would lead them. And let's all make sure we're ready to meet the Lord because, well, he could come back at any time.